and you are welcome. I've been mandated to start excitedly, so that's what I'm doing so she can follow my cue. It's a new day here, and it's a happy Thursday. Good morning, beautiful people. We are quite excited after a day of hunting, and I'm sure you know what I mean. We appreciate you for always accepting what we bring, and for that, we've come extra prepared. Oh, yes. So, it's okay if you, uh, you know, start your morning with us here with this breath of fresh, relaxing air. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. It's back from the holidays. Let's take you on a beautiful ride with our entertaining lineups. Yes, now, absolutely. It's been a fabulous hunting salah. The last salah they said it was a no meat salad. This mm. one, they just hid all our Muslim friends behind. It's okay. This Christmas is hiding Christmas. And <laughs> guess who searched every single one of those people out? Mr. Mike and Mexicano. <laughs> At the last minute. <laughs> Extra time. Hey! Injury time. Give up! Angel Halima saved the day. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I'd have been condemned to chicken and turkey. Yeah. And that will show that I have bad behavior. But, ah, <laughs> When you thought all me. hope was lost. <laughs> when I thought all was lost, she came she to came you. She came to you. Oh. She saved you. <laughs> she saved oh. you. Don't <laughs> worry, you don't need to know that you're not going to be dragging myself with me next time. <laughs> because that's my last hope. Don't worry. You've too plenty on I'll it. I'll let you guys know who Halima oh. is. She's a producer here for Wake Up Nigeria. And she is a darling. Yes. Only when she wants to be. Yeah, she's she's the, she's the fighter <laughs> and the preacher of war in every other time. <laughs> in the most. <laughs> Anyhow, the energy is here and it's quite infectious. As you all know, a promising day starts right here with us. My name is Mazino Apio. And I am Talk by Olowo Neo. Now remember, you, you can use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the breakfast, best breakfast show in the whole of the world. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and um, someone reached out to me yesterday <laughs> while trying to download from the app. Now on Google Play Store, you would see like uh, two different TVCs. So TVC with the white box, mm -hmm. that is what you should download. Yes, TVC yes, Connect. TVC Connect remember. on Google Play Store. And it's also available on iOS. Yes, indeed. Yes. Now remember that you should also follow us on all our social media handles. We are at TVC Connect across all of them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Now let's let them know what's coming up for today's show, please. Yes, it's RC Thursday and we have lined up. We're beginning with art display and we have Anihita Aleto, a self-taught creative art enthusiast and innovator from a diverse background resonating naturally towards visual and contemporary art. And then we move on to etiquette with Yvonne Ebby, an image consultant and executive coach, and she will be talking to us about social graces and social vices. And finally joining us in the studio for an interesting chat is Afro soul artist Arami Day, who discovered the talent of singing and writing as a teenager. As an Afro soul artist, she is quite passionate about playing the saxophone and guitar. We'll find out more about her efforts and her journey in just about a bit. I love Beautiful. Good morning to you guys. And yes, you did hear me right. I do love oh. Arami Day. You know this thing you said just made me think? Mm -hmm. Is it possible to love more than one person at the time? Mm. I don't mean daddy, mommy, love, really. Mm. Okay, that love. Oh, God, human. Oh, see, look, it, this, life, this thing is very unique to different people. Look, because you, you can't, I've learned how not to um, define life by mm. my own experience. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? You, you really don't know how someone else feels. Yeah. You can't be, you, should, you understand? So, yeah. in that one, if I can't, I can't. If you can't, maybe you can't. Yeah. And that rhyme is really got you very. Uh, so, that was deep in your feelings. Oh, that was in you. <laughs> but there's, there is something else mm. that has gotten Mike deep in his feelings What's that he that? doesn't want me to talk about. Which but is? I cannot help but talk about it. Which one? Being an uncle. His uncleship. His I uncleship. wanted to talk about it on Tuesday. Oh, he didn't let day. me. There is this new side of Mike yeah. that I see it's that is fabulous. And I think that makes me get to the point where I feel like Mike is ready for parenting. Boom. I think he's, he's ready Boom. to be a dad. So if you're out there <laughs> and you feel like being a wife, <laughs> Well, we've got just a special. Where's this mic that you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so it's time for, 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 for I, I also want to say something. Yeah. I am yeah. jealous of both your relationship, both of you actually, because oh. I saw him on your story um, yesterday, Mike, I mean, amongst everybody else. And I felt very jealous, I will say this. Why would you Why be jealous? jealous? <laughs> because I wasn't 
I'm there. I mean, Mike was at your place with everybody else. He, he knows all your friends and your. I don't. I don't know. There. I, it's, a, it's just like the last time I invited you. I know, like boys. You don't have to punish me continuously for it now. And now one girl. time. Well, but to be honest, it was a singles hangout. No married people. Huh? It's, it's, oh, yeah. Okay, so Topa is actually lying. So let's move forward from that. <laughs> because, because I don't want to get you that guy lying. So I know some yeah. other people that yeah. they, 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 they ain't single. <laughs> Well, anyway, I just have this. Yeah, but they were once single. They were husbands. They were ma they are married but living single. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. I promise you not to break your heart anymore. <laughs> Did you say that? Weather, weather. News after that. Welcome back. It's time for the news. First off, this Thursday morning, my name is Mazino Appeal. We begin in Oyo State, where policemen yesterday dispersed supporters of Sunday Woho, who staged a protest against the arrest of the Yoruba Nation agitator. The protesters, uh, who marched in their numbers to Soka bus stop along the Legacy Bada Expressway, sang solidarity songs demanding the release of Iboho. Men of the Nigerian police later stormed the venue in petrol vans and also shot in the air to chase away the demonstrators. The policemen, who later stationed themselves at strategic positions at the location after clearing the traffic, stayed for a while before they finally left. But the protesters are asking the Benin government not to grant the extradition of Sunday Boho to Nigeria. They say it is unjust for the Yoruba Nation agitator to be detained outside the Nigerian jurisdiction. Federal government to see Sunday Boho to, to remove his name from from wanted list and from stop list. And they should release our boy that they have been detailed. Bosa is not a criminal. He's the one old man. The person where everybody knows for this country, where they fight for him, people. The Lagos Commission of Police order that tactical commanders and the Rapid Response Squad go after hoodlums ahead of the Eid celebration. Some black spots, specifically Oshodi OK and Oshodi on the bridge, have been raided. Now, the task force during the raid of the Oshodi area arrested 103 hoodlums, recovered drugs and weed suspected to be Indian hemp and also dangerous weapons. Police operators attached to Shagamu Road Division Ikorodu have also arrested one John Okibe in Ikorodu for threatening and attempting to rob a POS operator. The suspect, who was arrested with a toy gun, has confessed to the crime. And COVID-19 vaccine makers BioNTech and Pfizer say Wednesday they will produce their jabs in South Africa from 2022, a first for the continent that could see much-needed immunization drives pick up speed. The move comes amid growing criticism of vaccine inequality that has seen poor countries fall behind rich ones in the race to protect people from the coronavirus. Under the agreement, Cape Town-based BioVac will complete the last step in the manufacturing process of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, known as Fill and Finish. The companies said in a statement the project will take time to get off the ground. However, with the first African-finished Pfizer vaccine not expected before next year. And 12 people have died after record-breaking rainfall flooded underground railway tunnels in China, leaving passengers trapped in rising waters. Videos shared on social media shows evening commuters just managing to keep their heads above water. Water is seen gushing onto platforms. More than 500 people were eventually rescued from the tunnels in Hanan province, officials said. Days of rain have caused widespread damage and led to 200,000 evacuations. Above ground, roads have been turned into rivers, with cars and debris swept along in fast-moving currents. The number of pedestrians have had to, a number of pedestrians have had to be rescued. In total, 25 people have died in Henan province, and more than a dozen cities are affected. President Xi Jinping said on Wednesday that they had been significant loss of life and damage to property. Several dams and reservoirs have breached uh, warning levels, and, uh, and soldiers have been mobilized to divert rivers, which have burst their banks. Fights, uh, flights and trains in many parts of Henan have also been suspended. 
And that's it for the news. We are going to move on now to sports. And I'm wondering what we get in today's sports. Mm. Wow, a lot of people are inspired here by that fitness round. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I need that instructor. You want to tell yeah. floor managers here? Yeah. You weren't Joe focused Dick. on his uh, Joe, upper I could body, see, though. I could see the visual representation of what I stand to get uh, when I go to the gym. Get. Focus, okay. 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 Yeah, so all of you, so do you want to tell both of you, I think Joshua is going to make money. I'm Floyd Mayweather. Don't come here inside studio and before me. Go outside, go and fight. What's up and about, guys? Okay, yeah. fine. I want to talk about this lady, P. Suforma. Mm -hmm. You guys hear about her, the Unibend lady who had the inscription, uh, aggressive malpractice got me this far. Mm. She got national attention. Everybody I'm was talking you. about her. I don't know if she was bold, bold or just stupid. I thought it was just the moment of jest, if you ask me, because I've yeah. written ridiculous. I wrote ridiculous things on my shirt back in school, and yeah, yeah ridiculous because. stuff. Yes, I mean, yes. So I don't know whether it was anything to actually make such national uh, you know, uh, news. News. However, that said, I will say that we are owed an explanation. If it has been taken on by the by the authorities, then they need to carry on and let us know exactly what's going on. Because right now there was information about There's a her. rumor that. She was told to go back to 200 levels yeah, and write all her all exams. Her exams. Oh and then there's days. also oh. another report that refutes that rumor that Authentic says the panel. This time, yeah. yeah, that says that uh, there's, there's, a, there's a panel mm -hmm. that has been set up to look at it. And I'm like, a panel what? What? set well, up? I'm tired. Pa panel, no panel. It's the time that it's taken as is always the case in Nigerian situation all the time. If you want us to know whether she is actually uh, uh, someone who you know, did all she inscribed on her shirt. Let us know already. Let the world go on. Let's I'm, I'm serve sorry. examples and I all. I don't even think that that's it's the yes. problem of Nigeria right now. I feel like <laughs> our leaders can what? be so distracted. Hang on a like how they, how they can focus on some things can be very funny. So now yes. we are all that explanation why somebody decided there, to cheat. There, there are two ways to this, yeah? You, you are right, but then again, perhaps maybe not, because that is a small little fraction, a sample of what our education system is. We all know what happens inside of universities when it comes to yes, examinations but, and malpractice. But a question I have, right? So if this is the time that we can use to get all the answers, all the but, investigations Martino, done. Really, the, the, don't we have greater problems? I I know, I like, know. if you want to tackle that one, okay, so let's also tackle floods that, that people lost their houses, their lives, and properties. <laughs> I would, like, I would let's tackle. To. And last week, a friend of mine, she came to shoot on the island mm. and she finished shooting and went back home by past 10. She, they couldn't reach her because her phone was off, and she got home and her entire house oh. was brought down. The money that her father got from retirement was what they used to build the house. Oh, wow. Retirement house, flood has carried this. Hello, let's get a panel to discuss that as well. Wow. It's just that I didn't get to try. That's a very sad story. You know, like, it, we, I actually, I, priorities I, yes. is what we I will, on this one, lots. I will well, what happened there? No. I went down, 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 down. The priority is coming back up. Yes. So you, see, you know what, you know what happens? I'm going to stay down in this life. Gonna for go. this one, for this one, I will go with Tupper on this one. Because Thank you see, like you mentioned earlier, there's a lot of ridiculous stuff that we wrote on our shirts. Yeah. Some people wrote on the shirts yes. when they were. It's all part of the fanfare. Yeah. Hey, I'm gone out and all of it's that. It's creative. Do you it's understand? So I feel myself. like if you want to tackle, which we know is a problem. I mm -hmm. mean, we had the issue of jam and how yeah. students failed massively. Only for yeah. If you want to tackle passing. examination yeah, malpractice, tackle. see, look, it is, it is, malpractice is something very easy to tackle. It's just that we as a people are corrupt. Mm -hmm. And it's, yep. just, it's just who we are that reflects. It's the easiest thing to tackle. But you see, you the, way know I that. See it, you see the way I see it, Mike. What? I think our institutions are a micro system inside of, or we use macro, or micro. I don't micro, know. yes. Micro inside, inside of the whole. So they yeah, true. are representative of the larger society, scenario, the larger society. Mm -hmm. So if you, if if such an instance has surfaced, how you attend to it will tell how. Systemically, it's going to mm, you know, flow mm. through the entire system. Honestly, mm. no. You know, mm. not the entire system. Uh, uh, try and understand me, yeah. Because yeah, our it, schools are societies themselves. Themselves. Yes. That's where everything starts mm -hmm. from. Malpractice, the, the, uh, um, uh, um, uh, indiscipline, this and that yeah. and that. But before you address how somebody graduated, it's an, it's an graduated. educational institution. Yes. So you are actually putting but in before these. Before you address how somebody graduated, address how the person entered. Mm. Mm. It takes you entering to graduate. Mm -hmm. So if, if we're having problems with jam, address jam before you address somebody that is graduating. Sure, the person has, has, has escaped, Abi. Let that one escape. The people that are entering, 
let's address the people entering. Because you, you don't want to take this person and say, oh, scapegoat, scapegoat. Then all the other people that are hiding in the corner, Zunko. Mm. There's, that, it, you know, off the, it seems I still connected to what people. you say, yeah. <laughs> I, there's this, I do, I'm trying to get his exact name, but on Twitter, he's known as Great Oracle, a lawyer, mm. one of, um, an activist. He said something while he was in school. You know, when you mentioned that, the, um, the society yeah, in yeah. school yeah. Is, a, is a reflection of what the bigger society is, exactly. a micro part of it. And that's very true. Mm -hmm. I mean, Choe was a, an SUG president yeah. mm -hmm. and all about the kind. So he said something which was quite very, very remarkable. He spoke about two people who were with him in school when they fought. I, at, at this time, this was 93, so they were with Choe and all that. They fought for democracy. And said, okay, now you came out of school and you got into the system and now you are doing the things that we fought against. That's another thing. That's because while they were in school, this was what they were exposed to. They never really got any real justice to any of these instances that 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 they were that they tried to fight for. To fight for. Mm. Let's look at it. You try and understand mm. what I'm saying. There mm. was no real result for anything that they did. You know, we fought for it. It still collapsed. So now I'm here. Ah, Bob's. I'll go drop my own money. I'll go do my own. I, I, that kind a, of thing. There's a whole lot. But well, let's really they, they okay, took if you went to provide a solution, what do you think? How, how can we, as a from country, from case, no, no, I mean general, as, as, as a country, because away, this is a people problem. Yeah. This is who we are. Yes. This is who we are. How do we change the system? Because if one good man might, he just goes into the system, and it comes to the system. It'll take one change generation. With your, with your conscience, start addressing yourself. You see that your house help that you are wicked too. <laughs> See, deal with your problems. You, you see that your 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 driver that you don't want to give him five hundred naira extra because you feel like he'll take advantage. That's the problem. You know what? I have the answer. You're mm. correct. But once you give people electricity, mm. yes, give us light. <laughs> Everything is so okay. Tell you what, yeah. Perhaps <laughs> we'll have this discussion on social media. So why mm. don't you guys get on our social media handles and yes. give us your reactions? We'll be right back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs> again it's about bush so yes we have chef nathaniel of natido cuisine and something interesting today today we're not making plantain there's no plantain anything ha the plantain ambassador say no plantain today <laughs> i saw a picture recently on instagram where someone bought plantain and the person put six bills like you have to protect your plantain it cannot be in the photo is any member of the family is a member of the family like the, those five fingers, they are five humans. <laughs> so tell me, what are we preparing this morning? So I'm uh, doing something simple, just okay. um, potato and chicken. It's potato? supposed to be potato and chicken kebab. Okay. Yeah, but we'll just make everything inside a plate. A plate. So we're cooking it like a jollof kind of thing? Not really jollof, but we're going to pan fry the potatoes. Okay, pan fry. fry the chicken. Then we have... Um, bell peppers and and the rest. Oh, okay, so our ingredients. Uh, we've not finished setting the ingredients. Yeah, not yet. But it's okay. just this. This day a little bit um, tricky. So I use pepper soup spice. Oh wow! So boil the chicken. Oh, yeah. so did you make your pepper soup spice? No, I bought it. You bought it. So it's interesting it. fact, yeah. It, I was not feeling well like two weeks ago. I had food poisoning, and the doctor said like all I could take was bread and pepper soup. And then I'm, I'm buy, I buy pepper soup the first time, I buy it the second time, and I realized I'd spent 8000 Wow. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to make my pepper <laughs> soup. But the problem is I've not been able to get the ingredients that smell just like the pepper soup. I think you should go to, um, like all these, like all these um, malam guys. They oh, know, those uh, are my brothers. They know those I will find this. Okay, so let's that. talk about the, this chicken we have here. Did you... So it's actually chicken breast. Okay, chicken yes, breast. so I've already marinated it and I've boiled it. So I use just salt, pepper, so spice, and chicken seasoning. Okay. So I, after marinating, I allowed it to stay for some hours, then I now boiled it. So boiling now, because for the benefits of people at home who might want to try this, how much water did you put when you were boiling? Okay, because so it's chicken breast, you don't need many water. Um, yeah. And you can use a... Um, Non-stick non -stick pot. pot and it would just so just once you put it in there, just little bit of vegetable oil, just okay. very little. Then the chicken has its some own water. water. Yes, so. I learned that because if you put too much water, the juice and everything would suck. Would suck, suck, suck so it, yeah. we need the rich. Okay, so you hear my people? I got you guys covered. <laughs> and if you don't have non-stick pot, don't worry, we got you still. You can use just put Gambai. low low fire. Wow, <laughs> wow. wow. Why did you buy plantain? <laughs> okay, let's start. So, what are we starting with? So, we're going to start with, uh, um, yeah. So, oh, we have, okay, we're boiling this water. Okay, okay. Yeah. which of the knives do you want? So, let me use this. Okay. 
So we have shop. Yeah. You can use this. Then also, uh, that's a bit. We putting anything on fire yet? Okay, put the water. Yeah. On fire. So which of the potatoes? I forgot to ask. Huh? Is it the um, the Irish or sweet? No, it's just the sweet. Although you can use Irish. Too. Irish. So. I, I like sweet potatoes. Yeah, it's always nice. And they're cheaper. Yes. Cost yes. effective. Because now our standard of living has, <laughs> yeah, they to, did change. <laughs> has to match our... Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Just going to... So we're going to chop Even this green pepper is like gold. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so if we were going to like put it in like a stick yes. in a kebab form, that's Something how it's like going to come yes. out. Okay. But we're pan searing it, right? Sure. Okay. Just cut this one out, too. Then our onions, the onion. the same thing. So it's not going to be so spicy, no. is it? It will be a little bit spicy because I brought atarodo. Just make it spicy okay. for the potatoes. Okay. I have this here. Yes, yeah, so what we're going to do is, now that we're cutting all this, we're just going to give you some time to get sure. all the choppy bowls ready. Remember, today is Artsy Thursday, and we have a self-taught artist on the couch with Mike. Mike is all yours. Now, just before we get to the artist, uh, Natito, I, I talk about, I found, I, there's a video I saw about cutting onions that you don't take off the bulb so that it doesn't make you, you know, tear, tear up, up and all that. Is that true? Okay, another thing you can do if you don't want tears to become not from ice is to soak the onions in water. Oh, yeah? Either you soak it in water or you chop under running water. But how about, Mike, how about you just cry so that we know that you're a human being? <laughs> how okay, about thank you, thank you. <laughs> Uh, now, maybe I might cry if I'm cutting onions, but uh, with the art display coming up, I am definitely not going to cry because we have a work of art who is an artist, Anehita Aleto. She's a self-taught creative art enthusiast, an innovator from a diverse background, and of course, uh, she tells, um, uh, you know, the visual and contemporary art, she's all about that. It's good to have you, Anehita. You are welcome. Good morning. Yeah, you. you have a lovely smile. Just... You brought sunshine more into this place. <laughs> Don't mind me. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm very well, thank you. Good. So you are a self-thought artist. How did that start for you? When did you start drawing? Well, I'll say uh, I started drawing right from childhood. Mm. Yeah, I just realized that I could do it. Mm. What are your youngest memories you have of drawing? How young were you? How did it start exactly? Okay, the young for my memories go back to kindergarten. Mm. I remember actually drawing a, uh, a portrait of President uh, Buhari mm. at that time. Mm. Yes. Are you sure? So everyone was kind of fascinated, and I remember <laughs> my teacher kept a, uh, a, uh, kept a picture, mm. and I took it home to well, my dad. Yeah, you don't tell you. Yeah, you're the one. I mean. <laughs> but hey, come on. I like yes. that. And then, did your parents support you? Did you have support from everybody around you? Oh, yes. I had loads of support. Mm. Yeah, lots of support from my family. Okay. Yeah, from my mom okay. in particular, and um, my mom, my Wonder. parents, my siblings and friends. Now, that's a question yeah. that a number of people would want to know is that does this, um, as an artist professionally, does this, does this take care of the bills? It does take care of the bills. It depends mm. on how you make use of opportunities that oh, okay. it presents to you. Oh, okay. I mean, you can make money out of anything mm. as long as you set your mind to it. I like that. As long as you're dedicated and you follow the trends, mm. you look at your competitors, and you're, you could be a bit, or not just a bit, very, very innovative in Wonderful. whatever you do. How I like you, that. Okay, so let's yeah. get straight to it. Let's talk about your artworks. I love this. I love this. What's the title? What's the title of this? Um, the title of this one is Mayama. This is one Mayama. of my... Yes. Mayama this, is that her name? What does it mean? It's a tribe in okay. Asia. You know, okay. I just... I have a thing with tribes. I okay. like... Um, I, li I like uh, humanities. Mm. I like... I'm interested in people's cultures, their stories. I like to use my art to tell the stories. Mm. So this is um, Mayama tribe. Okay. Um, you see, like, a, a symbol of beauty is the long neck. True. So, they, uh, so did they have that stuff that they rings, used to stretch yes, it? Yes, to elongate their necks and all oh. of that. Yeah. Now, that's quite something, quite yeah. a beautiful piece of artwork. <laughs> yes. What, what did you use to create this? What materials did you use? Um, charcoal and a little bit of um, color pencil stains on it. 
Wonderful. Mini wonderful, charcoal. Wonderful. Yes. Now, there's one that intrigued everybody when we came into the studio this morning. Yes. That's the one just there by your side. Um, what is the representation of that particular one, that one there by your side? What were you trying to recreate? What were you trying to put together? Okay, well, um, as I said to you, I like tribes and cultures. Mm. So I bumped into this culture of um, West Indian women. Women, mm. yeah, West Indian women. Okay. And, um, you know, Cuba, Haiti, Havana, mm. Paraguay, South the America. Yes, the South America. So I Americans find them very like colorful and entertaining. These are women that um, grow um, tobacco. Okay. And sometimes they dress in a certain way. True. Just to entertain tourists. And, and I love that you encapsulated all that, that yeah. all of that in that drawing. It, it yeah. evokes, you know, people can identify some people here can identify with it i don't want to call <laughs> their names but hey but it, it's old oh, nan oh, nana is that old oh, nana well this series actually i call them the nana cubana series nana cubana yeah i love nana the ride cubana. nana cubana wonderful <laughs> now let's talk about this final one there's one by the open space that yeah. we can see here let's uh take me yeah. through that one this one take me okay through that it. one yeah. well this is Part of the Nana Cubana series. Okay, still part of it. Yes, but okay. this one in particular, I call it um, uh, Nana Lisa. Nana Lisa. Yes. Wow. I'll say she's one of the. I'll say she's an ancestor. As in this one, is, <laughs> this one has to be ancestor. This is <laughs> like an ancestor, you know. Um, okay. I did this. Um, did, I completed this work close to the time of. Um, the Juneteenth celebration okay. for okay. America. For America, yes. yes, definitely. You know, talking about the emancipation of slavery, mm. you know, liberty and all. And all so this that. just depicts the black woman, the journey of the black woman the to black the woman. West and to the world. Mm. So, so I wanted to talk about your yeah. passion because uh, this is something that you're passionate about and all of that. Yes. Would you leave this for anything? If I, uh, how, 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 how strong is this passion of art for you? <laughs> I will only leave this for anything that is life-threatening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you serious? Yes. And then, okay, so what, what would you, uh, considering that you made mention of something that you can almost make money from in anything, so to someone young out there who wants to start this, thing, what kind of, uh, how would you encourage that kind of a person, you know, who knows how to do something but doesn't know how to maybe make money from it and is maybe there's a challenge. Because I have a lot of people who have a passion, but maybe because of their job, they cannot do that passion. Mm -hmm. And then you find out that they are doing things that they don't love and they're just walking through life. Do you have any kind of words for someone like that? Well, it's um, what I'll have to say to people with such inspirations and mm. aspirations, yeah. Um, because of the society, Nigeria, yeah, true, true. you know, sometimes people feel like Nigeria is a dream killer, mm. but notwithstanding, if you have the zeal, or you, you know, or you have an opportunity, even if you cannot finance your passion, mm. it's best to see other opportunities that can help you fill your passion, even if yeah. it's like a job. Then, then you, you build it up. Then together. when you get to a point, just be hopeful. Sometimes you want to work with grace. You know, some people ask questions or question their ability. Why? Why am I doing better than this artist? Or why is this artist doing better than me? Sometimes we work with grace. Wonderful. You work with grace as well. Thank so you. you should have that at Thank the you. back of your Thank mind you. as well. It was nice talking to you. And I <laughs> definitely hope that this has sparked some, uh, you mm -hmm. know, some fire in some people out there that they can go after mm -hmm. that dream and that passion. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it. That's it on that display. Hope you're able to catch something there. We'll take this time out now. There's still quite a bit more to come and show. And of course, Thursday edition here. Let's do social media, shall we? Very interesting discussion yesterday, Mike. The ladies had uh, you know, So MM just goes on and she was telling a beautiful story. It was cool to listen to her, yeah. by the way. But it was a beautiful story about a guy, a man who was sick but and the Was it wife. a beautiful story or a very vindictive story? I don't know. It, 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 <laughs> it was, was a beautiful. You know why? Because she had the grace. But tell the story. Tell the cool. story real quick. Very quick. Uh, uh, maybe a guy with side chicks who, fell, who was sick, mm -hmm. who got t terminally ill mm -hmm. also. And she called the side chicks at different points in time to mm -hmm. take care of him. Yeah. So I don't know how it ended, mm -hmm. but uh, Tokwe was there. Maybe mm -hmm. Tokwe might have something a little bit about that to tell us before we take the comments. Yeah, you okay. know, but yeah, we'll get to Tokwe, but let's take some comments. We yeah. had a couple of comments on that one. Wife mm -hmm. invites husband's side chicks to take care of him after 
after her, um, he, after he was down with stroke. This was not just on, uh, it, it was all over the place. Everybody was talking about it. Mm. So let me take a couple of these comments. We have this one here from Abukai21. Says, yes, now, they both enjoyed the man when he was in good health. Mm. Now they uh, must go through the trouble of taking care of him together. Yeah, correct mm. wife, he says. <laughs> and um, BTTYB uh, says, I listened to the woman's confession too. That's what she called it. And I was just wowed. Oh, um, I think she was a, she was mature in how she went about situation. Plenty of comments. We go on. Mm. Uh, Cakes by Busa says, wow, 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 smart woman. Now the man knows no one can love him more than his wife, his mother, his daughters, and his sisters. 95% of love from outside is mostly deceitful. Uh, Lindsay Kun says, uh, let me just ask, who are these side chicks? Did they fall from heaven or are they marine spirits? Married women, be wise and smart. Don't look down on any other woman. The new phase now for... Uh, Talibans, don't be too sentimental while deadly uh, things are happening. Married women, let me ask to be continued, All he right. says. Wonderful. Wonderful. A lot of comments. It, it so, goes on. So, Tope, I don't know if you, if you might want to <coughs> Tope, add what, something. What's, yeah, uh, any addendum sure. to that one? From yesterday. I mean, well, the conversation was, it was amazing. I, I hadn't even seen it on the, on the group before MM Shady. And like I said yesterday, I think it's, I don't know if I'll call him mature, but I think it takes a level of disconnection from the situation to actually do what that lady did. I don't think I would do that. <coughs> I, would, I would be too emotionally involved. I'll probably beat somebody up. I get you. I understand. But it took a lot of disconnection from her. And I, I, I said, and I will still reiterate, that I think she needs to go to therapy because mm. there'll be a lot of toxicity between them. And if, you, if she feels like, oh, her husband is all over her, two of them should go and talk to somebody because it might be all over you, but there might be resentment beginning to... to build up within you, and he might do something that would just make you explode. I mean, you're, you're a human being, and that's what I feel. A, a, someone who is in love with you would not just be so mature, if you get what I mean. Hmm. Sorry. I'm a bit I confused quite there. a lot, yeah, but I got, I got what she was trying to say. Like, so when you see, I, I, I think that's how we, when you, you think about somebody's experience, mm -hmm putting yourself in that person's shoes with mm. your own mindset, but that's mm. a problem. Mm. Because the way you think is different from the way every other person yeah. thinks. So okay. if I was the one, I'd be like, I cannot be, love cannot be that accommodating. It's mm. supposed to be something exclusive. When you start having parties around, exactly. so people can't fathom that uh, thing. That's what she's trying to say. But other okay. people can say, look, let's share it. It's all love. Ha. Uh, let's, let's let it go around. Community relationship. Community marriage. I don't think that's what she was trying <laughs> okay. to do. But I, no. I just think that she was trying to... Um, I think she was trying to set a lesson, first mm. of all. Um, I think she was very hurt. I think um, exactly. the lesson was supposed to actually, it, it, it was one that came with a bit of thought, uh, process, uh, not thought, there was process to it. Yes. That woman, however, can kill a person. That's all exactly. I'm going to say. There is something about it that is a bit I see psychotic. some kind of... Yes, that's yeah. cold. I, I see know. It's ice cold. cold. It's dangerous. Dangerous, yeah. I mean, yeah. she went through it, an entire process. She even had cameras installed. She, gets, she like, filed oh, all wow. of these things. That's she called lot. them one one after the other. Oh, you know, what? things could have gone wrong if one of these girls... If one of these girls was, you know... Crazy. You know, you know what? It's all, and this is true. The films that we watch is also... All, when people go to this <laughs> land, <laughs> you know... But it's then we have some, tailored. yeah, we have some also very interesting comments on our live video. Okay. And, um, mm -hmm. there, there are some, there's some people that have a heart for you. There, you know, this is from um, Omolaya Comfort. Olu that's Nio. my uh -huh. mama. Olua. Hey, mommy. <laughs> Olua Koshen, she says, she says, after saying good morning to TV, she says, wow, sorry about that, Maz, you know? Was it, mm. was it um, the oh. Ram or which one? No, no, it wasn't. I was just, I was, I was just joking. Okay. <laughs> no, joking. Well, okay, maybe that this was much earlier, but maybe it was the Ram. But hey, she says sorry and she says good morning. Good morning. Morning to you. And um, morning. this is from Awe Kunle says, good morning, my people. Thank you. Good morning, Kunle. Thank you for all those comments. Ola Enwaju. Um, Ekunola Nibanola says good morning, TVC. Good morning to you. Good morning. Sunday Olus Olusanjo says good morning. How do you pronounce that name? Sounds like a passenger. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Sunday. Wale Sheon says, good morning. Good morning. He's young. Says, good morning, men and women mm. of Wake Up Nigeria. Good morning, man. Morning. Uh, Orwell Daniel says, good morning to everyone. 6262 six is our number one, you know, comment king on Facebook. Good morning to you. And, of course, uh, big, uh, you know, M Miriam, bigger man, princess, thank you. Please don't get tired of saying good, morning, good mornings. 
Good morning to Please, you. I want to say something, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Before we proceed from this conversation, I know that a lot of people on social media feel like, oh, this is definitely a way to deal with side chicks and uh -huh. to get them to come to order. I would say that it worked for her. Hey, it could go wrong for you. It does not mean it would work for you. It does not mean Fact. that yeah. even if it works for you, it does not mean that your your moving on from there would be yeah. as as smooth as it was it, for her. So I'd please, like to say something, Tokwe. Yeah. Let me add to that. How does that make the man feel after this? Now, I understand that if you want retribution and all of that, but mm -hmm. then again, you have to ask yourself, going on forward now, especially in his state, how is he going to see you? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm just asking these questions. However, for you, Tokwe, there is this comment here. FGA says, Tokwe, I love you. Um, uh, uh, by the way, girl, um, you're overstretching it. All the lady wanted to do is make her husband see that this lady just, oops, hang, hang on a second. These ladies mm -hmm. uh, just love you for what you bring okay. and they're not going to uh, go any extra mile for you yeah. um, if you cannot provide anything, period, is yeah, what he says. Now, yeah. Zion Camper Ron Pop yes. is his name. He says, imagine a husband call on a side guy like that. They will say he is dumb and immature. They will uh, all, uh, they were all happy with the story. Just flip the card around. You'll see, mm -hmm. you, you still blame the man. Ah, I don't know. I didn't blame the man, come to think of it. And I'm not over. No, he was responding it. to the other I like guy. To feel, I like to always say, remove the situation and think of your mental health. After you have done this thing and you have achieved the aim, how do you feel afterwards progressing? Because yeah. there's so many things we do in the moment, because we want to do it, but we don't think about how we feel after it, like checking your partner's phone. After you, have you thought about it that after you check, so what do you do with this information? How do you feel moving forward? That's what I'm saying, because someone watching is feeling like, I'm going to do this thing to this mm. side chick. But how would you feel after you do it? Would you feel whole? Would your marriage end or would it actually get better? Don't know? But moving on from that, can we mm. talk about mm. the <laughs> post that about. we had of, would you stay with the partner, <laughs> <laughs> that one, if I have to read it. Yeah, okay. Perhaps maybe we, we drop it today and maybe we see your comments from Yeah, from, so from let's make sure I drop it today. So the question yeah. is, it's been on social media, we're asking who would you stay with, the person who was with you while you had nothing, or mm. the person who made you something? Mm. I have a very interesting, interesting. opinion regarding that. If you were with me and I had nothing, then that, that was a problem, is the way I see <laughs> yes, it. You yes. have come now. Then you now, you if I now meet somebody and then you are making me something. You, As in, no. as in, if you ask Bezos that question, he will tell you the same opinion here. If you ask any rich man, he'll he, tell you what no. I just said. No, he just divorced his wife. She was with him. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Okay, talk about what you, you agree, Mazino, yeah? I, well, I said there's still a third option. Okay. So if I was with you and I had nothing, and then I now move to somebody else and I have something, means that I was not even the problem in the first place. That means you that I had nothing with you were the problem. Ah. And then I'm now with somebody <laughs> and I have something. Then you're not asking me if I'll be with this person. You know, there's this thing eh, about growth. <laughs> when you are growing, you see that you have capacity. You see that, oh, so I can be this thing. So maybe okay. like, when I'm at this level, no, okay, so I can meet this kind let's of Let's get it this way. The, the, the question is, You've been with somebody a while. Then uh -huh. while you're with that person, someone now comes and changes your life. Oh, by the way, that means you're cheating, by the way. That means you're no, cheating. No, you're not cheating. No, you're yeah, not cheating. No, you're not. Let's put that in the then dynamic. Somebody, somebody comes in and changes your life, and then you actually want to make a decision while both of them are there. Ah, mm -hmm. Michael, like, don't, don't take No, don't put it that way. Mm. Put yes, it that, that's way. actually how they put it, because that, that's why it's, a, it's, it's hard. That's why it's a conundrum. What you would you do? Who would you, who would you, who would you do? Who do you I was listening to Skills on Max from yesterday, where they brought it up and all of that, and... He tried to explain that I, I stood with him. They said, look, um, there's something about somebody who has been with you. Through They'll go through all nine yards for you. They'll go through. You see, th th there's something that kind of a relationship oh, forms in you. Peace. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's about two people. Not only you also could be a problem with both of you. Why, why, why don't you think about it that way? That you also you guys don't. don't I mean, you guys don't work together. Something about, talk about something about when, to, when if you were with the person mm -hmm. and you didn't move forward. That means the person was a problem. You could also. Could, uh, yeah, it could also. You could also. Well, 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 listen here, Mike. But maybe it, I'm good with the person. It, it, that was it there. might not be either hey. of both. It oh, might wow. not be either of the people. It's ah. not either of the people. Ah. It's uh. just that you guys don't combine well together. So I'm sorry, can I say one thing? You, you, come, you come out where, but the hammer never happened. I beg you, Mazino. Yes. Can you tell you something about small minded people? Uh -huh. Because they are small minded, they cannot function in a bigger space. Mm. So, because you were there with me when I had nothing, it might be very hard for you to comprehend when I have a lot. Mm. Because you might still be processing my lot with your little. So, you saying that you're going to stay with somebody that has a small. <laughs> <laughs> let me give this words of wisdom. So, you say that you're 
Because they're stubborn that had a small mind. What is happening with you today? We're ready to build that person. She's still... Because they're ready to go on a Okay, why do you think that when you hammer, the person also cannot build to? I did not say that. And why do you think you were not the problem? Like we mentioned, you could have been the person with the small mind. That's where I stand. I don't know the person with the small mind, but I'm the one that hammered. All right. Why We'll continue this tomorrow. No, tomorrow is our coffee juice. We'll continue. We'll get your comments. Exactly. We'll put it up. Let's go to the next hour. We'll be right back. All right. We can't tell you what we're talking about. But welcome to the second hour here. Hope your day already got started on a good start. Yes. Now wake up, wake up, wake up and get that bag after a long holiday and plenty to eat. If you didn't eat, let me know the best because it's not like that. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you had a lot to eat and it might be a bit difficult to get back to work mode, but hey, you gotta get up. It's all good. We hope that you uh, had, uh, you were able to spend some quality time with family at least. But hey, we are your TV family and we are glad that you guys chose to start this morning with us here. Thank you very much for a gripping second round. 45 minutes to come. Premium content here on Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, now the right energy for the second hour. Thursday is the eve of Friday, so we're just here to set the mood for the week's round off. Mike, how are you planning to round off this weekend? Mm. This weekend, yeah, I've not yet thought about it so much. Yeah, I mean, I've not yet thought about it, but um, I, 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 I don't know, I don't know. I'll think about it after. I've not yeah. yet thought about it so much. We know I, that you're highly invested in your in this new child that we're Oh, god, <laughs> yeah. okay, the main focus. Oh, Mike, he went and had his head done and everything yes, for the arrival so of the ready. baby. His Mike was so cute on Monday. He's like, transition from his old life to his new life. It's and we are so excited to go on this journey with you, Mike. We celebrate so you know that your mic has been off all this while. They've not been hearing what you are saying. You did not hear them. <laughs> Moving <laughs> on. My name is Mazira Peel. And I am Tokwe Oloni. Now use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC across all social media platforms to be a part of the conversation. And we just finished social media segment and we talked about so many interesting things. Would you stay yes. with that person that was with you where you had nothing? Let us know. We'll talk about that tomorrow on the show. Okay? Yes. Now, uh, you can watch us from anywhere in the world, by the mm -hmm. way. Did you know? Uh, download um, our app on iOS or on Google Play. So we also employ you to follow us across all social media handles. We are at TFC Connect. Now let's tell you what we have coming up on the show. We also have <laughs> Etiquette with Eva and Ebby, an image consultant, executive coach. And she will be here to talk about <laughs> social graces and social vices. Join us. And finally, Yes, finally joining us in the studio for an interesting discussion is Afro soul artist Aramide. I can't wait. Who discovered the talents of singing and writing at a very, very young age. Now, she's quite passionate about playing the saxophone, so we're going to ask her about that one. And of course, the guitar as well. Her journey has been fantastic in the music industry, and I can't wait to meet her again. Welcome back. Now, let's take some facts and we'll return with the news and sports. And you are welcome. Second hour, let's do the news. My name is Mazino Appeal. Now we begin in Oyo State, where policemen yesterday dispersed supporters of Sonic Boho, who staged a protest against the arrest of the Yoruba Nation agitator. The protesters, who marched in their numbers to Soka bus stop along the Lagos Ibarra Expressway, sang solidarity songs demanding the release of Igboho. Men of the Nigerian police later stormed the venue in patrol vans and shot in the air to chase away the demonstrators. The policemen who later stationed themselves at strategic positions at the location after clearing the traffic stayed for a while before they finally left. The protesters are asking the Benin government not to grant the extradition of Sonic Boho to Nigeria. They say it is unjust for the Yoruba nation agitator to be detained outside the Nigerian jurisdiction. We want federal government to see Sunday go to, to remove his name from from wanted list and from stop list. And they should release our boys that they have been detained. Those are is not a criminal. He's the one known man. The person where everybody knows for this country, where they fight for him, people. And following the Lagos Commission of Police order that tactical commanders and the rapid response squad go after hoodlums uh, ahead of the Eid celebration, some black, spo uh, black spots, specifically Osho di Oke and Osho di Underbridge, have been raided. The task force during the raid of the Osho di area yesterday um, arrested 103 hoodlums, recovered drugs and weed suspected to be Indian hemp and also dangerous weapons. Police operators attached to Shagamu Road Division in Ikorodu have also arrested one John Okibe in Ikorodu for threatening and attempting to rob a POS operator. The suspect who was arrested with a toy gun has confessed to the crime. 
and COVID-19 vaccine makers BioNTech and Pfizer say uh, Wednesday that they will produce their jabs in South Africa from 2022, a first for the continent that could see much-needed immunization drives pick up speed. The more uh, the move rather comes amid growing criticism of vaccine inequality that has seen poor countries fall behind richer ones in the race to protect people from the coronavirus. Under the agreement, Cape Town-based BioVac will complete the last step in the manufacturing process of the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, known as Fill and Finish. The company said in a statement the project will take time to get off the ground. However, with the first African-finished Pfizer vaccine not expected before next year. And 12 people have died after record-breaking rainfall flooded underground railway tunnels in China, leaving passengers trapped in rising waters. Video shared on social media shows evening commuters just managing to keep their heads above water. Uh, water is seen uh, rushing onto platforms. More than 500 people were eventually rescued from the tunnels in Henan province. Officials said days of rainfall, or rather rain, have caused widespread damage and led to 200,000 evacuations. Above ground roads have been turned into rivers with cars and debris swept along in fast moving currents. A number of pedestrians have had to be rescued. In total, 25 people have died in Henan province and more than a dozen cities are affected. President Xi Jinping said on Wednesday that there had been significant loss of life and damage to property. Several dams and reservoirs have breached warning levels, and soldiers have been mobilized to divert rivers which have burst their banks. Flights and trains in many parts of Henan have also been suspended. And that's it for the news this second hour here. Uh, there's plenty happening in the kitchen and we're all feeling it. Let's find out exactly what's happening. Tokwe, what's happening in there? Yo, it's a spicy Thursday morning, to be very honest. Um, Nathaniel is giving us some strong, spicy, I want to say peppery, <laughs> peppery <laughs> morning. And if you're just um, joining us, you have missed a lot, I must say. Chef Nathaniel here is making, it was supposed to be Potato chicken kebab. kebab. So what would we call it now? Mm -hmm. Potato chicken. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm lost potato chicken breakfast. Yeah. Yes. Potato chicken breakfast. So what are we doing now? So we're going to fry the chicken okay. now. We've already, um, we've already fried the bell peppers and mm -hmm. the pepper. So that's why it is spicy. So with the chicken. Okay. Then once we finish frying the chicken, the reason why I was frying the chicken before the potato is that I want the, the flavor. Yeah, the flavor. So once we are done with the chicken, we'll now fry the potato. And okay. after that, we'll mix everything up and that's all. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna allow this to. And you said you marinated the just purposes. I'm going to try it. Yeah, pepper soup spice. Just pepper soup you can spice. try it and sauce. And, and if you have this um, chicken season, you yeah, can just mix it with salt. The nutritionist that was here yesterday also emphasized the need for us to include salt in our diet yeah. because it's good for um, It gives you iodine. So you might want to look at the nutritional side and the health benefits of it. So we can allow this to fry a bit. And then if you were using an air fryer for this, you wouldn't even have to yes. oil at all. I wouldn't want to get that air fryer. Air fryer. Yeah. I mean, it's like the hottest thing in the market right now. Yeah. So um, the sweet potato. Yeah. I was imagining if we put if we put egg, you know, there's this way you did egg with plantain. Imagine if you put egg and then put flour. Yes, yes. Would it, it be crunchy or it would not work? It would work, although you would, yeah, it's, it's going to work. You just put flour and, or Egg. you can even use breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, yeah. You just fry it and it will be crunchy. You see, you, you, should, you should pay me for this, my <laughs> recipes. Consultancy. Consultancy. 
Assistant is your sous chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sous chef. Assistantly cooked by Chuck Bess. So this is gonna have to be like be on low heat. Yeah, because medium heat. Yeah, medium heat because the chicken is, the breast is quite chunky. Sure. Yes, yes. Yeah. So All right, like then let's fun. give this some time to fry. Sure. Um, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we have so much more for you. Do not go anywhere. All right, call my name. Thank you very much, D3. Fantastic. All right, so now it's time for Etiquette with Eva Nebi and Ibdi. She's an image consultant, executive coach, and also she will be talking about social graces and social vices. You are welcome, Thank Eva. Thank you. Always a pleasure, and I mean always a pleasure <laughs> Thank you. to be having this session with right, you. So right. let's talk about these social vices right. and social graces. Um, now, um, from what I understand about these is, uh, well, the little... Little bits of humanity that we have <laughs> <laughs> left on us knowing right. where, where that demarcation is between right and wrong. Am I correct or am I wrong? You are correct. Thank you very it's, much. It's about being human. It's about being considerate, mm. intentionally, deliberately, because mm. we are humans. Mm. You know, so we, sometimes we think, you know, we just want to show off or do something. Can you just show consideration to other people? Can you be respectful to other people? Mm. And it comes in different ways. Okay. Like, you know, when you're eating. Okay. Can you eat gently and quietly? Mm. Can you spare us the trauma of seeing the masticated food? Mm. Now, so don't talk when you're mm -hmm. eating. It's, it's mm. possible. Just yeah. train yourself and learn the art. So you can talk, you can have a conversation, but not when food is in your mouth. Put the food down. Mm -hmm. Because whatever you do, whatever you're saying, when you, you open your mouth to speak, we will see stuff. Yeah. It's this thing. The image is in my head and I don't like it even. <laughs> so, yeah. Just imagine beans. <laughs> Ooh. I, know, I know it's gross. <laughs> All right. You know? So understand the basics of eating and when people are speaking at the table, let listen. Don't jump into conclusions yeah. or anywhere else for the matter. Can you just pay attention? Don't think you don't override the conversation. Don't dominate the conversation. If everything is part of manners. Yeah. Someone said good manners will open doors that the best education cannot. Nice. Interesting. Now, yeah. I want to pick up something you just said about conversation right. and over-dominance uh, during conversation. Exactly how, um, is there a set principle or format as to listening during a conversation, when to enter into a conversation, when to uh, interject? What should we know about that? Because in our Nigerian culture, right. we find two people talking at the same time. <laughs> and and the same tone, and everyone's shouting. I find it, it's, it, I cringe when, when, when I experience that. And some people do it without even knowing realizing that, realizing that this is not. Before I answer that question, I was talking about I met the, uh, the principal of St. Saviour's years ago, and he was from Ireland, Ireland or somewhere. And he said he was, when he came into Nigeria, he was like, he had this conversation in the school, and the, the, the door next, the next door, and they were, he was like, they're going to fight. These guys are about to fight. What, what brought me here? <laughs> and he was like, afraid, you know? And then in the, at the end of the day, they were like, I don't go to that one. And in the end of the day, they were like, they, they, they didn't fight. They're conversing. They're having a conversation. Oh, wow. This is, this is new. <laughs> So it's the same rule of consideration to other, for other people. When people are speaking, have an interest in what they're saying. Calm down. It shows maturity. It shows discretion. Listen in. Don't listen because you want to answer. Just because you want to know what. You want to also learn about them. You want to know how they think. You want to, it shows self-worth for you and them. Mm. It shows self-respect. Mm -hmm. So if I'm speaking and you're jumping to conclusion, I don't have a chance. I can't say a word because you know it all. It shows you're very immature mm. and you lack emotional intelligence. So yeah. calm down and listen in and give people a chance to speak. And even they're speaking rubbish, find something useful in there and applaud because it helps mm. their self sense of confidence as well. I don't want to have Applaud it. Applaud it, absolutely. Oh, I like the way you say, oh, I like something, I like your hair. Mm. Something about them, speak about it. It will, it will, it will help their self-confidence. And okay. you don't want people around you who are all down and damp mm. and, you know, not feeling worthy and you're the only champion in the, in the, in the village square. Okay, so <laughs> um, let's move on from conversation to um, arguments now. Right. Now, arguments are part of communication, right, whether you right. like it or not. Debate, but right. how do you get your message across and still be mature about it, still be, you know, in, in an ethical manner? How do but, you... But it has a lot to do with, you know, your own sense of respect and self-worth. So you have, you have an argument, and I, and I love debate, but honestly, when I'm having a debate, I want to know what you really want to say. I'm going to play my part very well. And I would, I would take from what you're saying and have a, a robust conversation later on. So listen in. And even if you want to disagree, can you do it with maturity? Can mm. you do it with respect? Don't abuse. It's How your, exactly it's do you possible. do it with respect? 
So you have an opinion I don't agree with. Yes. But I listen in, first of all. Okay. And I can say very politely, oh, I hear you, but I don't agree with you. Not, shut, shut, shut up, stupid, nonsense, you. No. You know, <laughs> I, I, I hear you, but I, 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 I beg to disagree. Say mm. it politely. Your tone will affect, the, your tone will reflect politeness. The, the, the words you speak, you calm, always remember to calm down. <laughs> now, let me now add to that and change the dynamic by uh, using an employer-employee situation right. in debates. Um, how does that play out? The employer owes you the responsibility to understand what you Do you know that employees bring a lot to the table? Mm -hmm. First of all, that whole thing of, you know, I'm an employer there, therefore I know it all, is so, so wrong. Nobody can oppose you. People should be able to oppose what you think. Mm -hmm. And have a healthy debate. What, this, create that enabling environment for that so that they can bring to their, their A game to the table. They, that will only happen if they, can, if they can contest, if they can debate, if they can disagree with you. I like what you're saying, Ma, but I don't agree with you. The boss once said to me, he said, Yvonne, I don't, if one doesn't agree with me, it was in a board meeting, but this is what I think. At least she knew my position. Mm -hmm. I, and, and she's a tough person, but I was able to express myself. You can't mute me, unfortunately. Mm. So as, as, an, as an employer, create an enabling environment. Have conversations with your staff. These people have, have, will bring so much to the table if you let them. But if you suppress them, you lose. Mm -hmm. As an employee, speak out. Mm. Sometimes you get punished. Mm. Get punished anyway, but speak out. <laughs> now, I have a habit, and uh, I don't know if this applies to what we're talking about, but in conversations or right. even in arguments, I use gestures. I use gestures to cut in. Right. you notice each time I wanted to right. cut in. Right, you did something like that. Right. I did yeah. that, and you knew that I was going right. to come in. Right, right. So is that, does that apply as well in this that, you, So you're showing consideration. You don't want to cut in. You don't want to be rude or, 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 or seen as being rude. So you use something friendly. You've learned a pattern that works. And mm -hmm. it works because people can relate to that. People can you know, understand it. It's, it's comprehend. People can understand what you're trying to do. Rather than just you know, cutting in all the time mm. or sort of having a conversation, a third person wants to come in and just cuts in. No, excuse me. No, um, I'm sorry, I like, to, I like to cut in. So you're learning the art of working with people as well. And that is so key because we, we always will have. People are always part of our organizations, our, our work, our enterprise, our business, our homes. So you have to find a way around, find that balance, and always remember to be considerate. That, if you can remember that key word, consideration. because consideration is so important. The, the, the 10 donuts, and we're 10, and you take two, because you're hungry, you're starving. So are the rest of us. <laughs> consideration for other people. You know, someone, you are five in the room, and you're the only one, you don't know, all your points are, must be heard. Somebody else is shy, but mm. it's just an intelligent. She's just like shy. If you can make her speak and allow her land, mm. so that she's speaking, you, you grab it up and say, no, 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 because you think you know better. You know, knowledge should, it shouldn't, it shouldn't make you feel insolent. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't make you rude and impolite and insolent. Yeah. Calm down and show maturity and show discretion. That's also very important. And don't be flippant and shut up sometimes. <laughs> shut up sometimes. <laughs> oh, everything that you said just now, right? you can't separate that from Emotional intelligence. So you can't. But mo emotional intelligence is not something that most people actually apply when it well, comes to interactions. Life would unfortunately show them that they have to do that as they, as they get along. Because you, you can't just go on like being crude and you know, being rude and being crude and just carrying on. I will it's, tell you something, right. however. A lack of emotional intelligence and money uh, and wealth are not a good combination. And you find that people <laughs> who lack you can't, emotion... So you're saying that if you're poor, you can't afford the luxury of being emotionally unintelligent. Exactly, right? exactly. So you find right. that so some rich people actually lack emotional Absolutely. intelligence and it affects their interactions and it's... Right. Very true. Absolutely. So, right. so you know, it, it's something that... So we're trying to, to start from, you know, uh, from early, early years yeah. with school. We're having you know, collaborations and partnerships to work with public and private school. Yes. Because if you learn it early, and you will not start as an emotional, as EI um, for the younger ones, begin as attitude. Huh. I like, that's, what, that's what I said to um, um, some group, I said, you know, allow the children to go to school after exams and play. Don't just say, nothing happening in school. Let them learn team spirit. Let them le learn to lose without losing. You have little children that play board games, and then they lose, they just cut out the whole thing. I'm nah. thinking, ah! Nah. 
You know, so it, is, it starts from there. So yes, team spirit and you lose, but you can shake your opponent and say, congrats, that was a good, that was a good game. You yeah. played well. So can we teach our children from the, from the get-go yeah. to understand the place of attitude, the correct yes. attitude, the right behavior. You don't feel good, but you can still do the right thing. Don't throw your toys out the pram because don't you didn't don't, win. don't bang the door. <laughs> <laughs> don't bang the door because you, you, your mom said something to you. You just you don't. That's rude. And it, you correct it's very them. interesting the the bits that you bring out here or when we discuss about etiquette, and I really appreciate them. I wish we had more time. I In fact, I always look forward right, to you being right. on the show here, Thank and you. I can't wait for next week when we right. have you on again to discuss right. something very interesting. And I hope that everybody out there has taken a key uh, note from what we've spoken about consideration. Be it's key. human. Absolutely. It's key. Absolutely. We'll be back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Welcome back, and finally, we are joined by the Afro soul singer and songwriter, one and only Aramide. Now, mm. she won Best Vocal Performance for her Iwo Niko at the Hedis 2015. Yeah. She graduated with a political science degree from the University of Joss. As an Afro soul artist, she is passionate about playing with the saxophone and guitar. We're about to find out more about her fascinating journey. Welcome. Thank so you. Let me just ask quickly. You, start, <laughs> you went to the University of Joss. Can you speak out, sir? Okay, I like you small. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to speak to her. Maybe no, like, intro without her. Just small. So it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> You're welcome. It's great to have you. Um, you, you know, you. Um, so it's been a while since um, I spoke to you last, but I know that now, um, re was last year when you were inducted into the Grammy. Um, that was 2019. That was 2019. Yes. Okay, that was 2019. That was not. Okay, ah. Uh. That See, 2020, 2020, let's just take out 2020. <laughs> so that's what happened. Let's keep it. COVID yes. here just looked as though Delete. and all of that. What does that actually entail? Um, okay. Um, I was inducted into the um, Grammy Board of Governors in yeah. Washington, D.C. Yeah. So that's a part of the gra a Grammy chapter because almost like, almost every, like, they have different chapters okay. in different states. They okay. have the Texas chapter. They have um, a chapter in New York, so they have different chapters. So I was inducted in the um, chapter, chapter in, in D.C. Mm. And um, basically what happens there yeah. is um, um, each chapter um, represents the academy. And um, what happens is that we fight for the rights of creatives okay. in that particular community. Community, okay. You know, the music creatives in, in particular. Yeah. And also, like... Um, um, create programs that um, is very inclusive and encourages diversity. So, mm. but how does that affect you as an artist, and how does that um, come to the Nigerian music industry? Well, for me, I as an artist, I wanted to, um, I wanted a platform where I could lend my voice. Okay. Mm. I just didn't want to just be a singer. I wanted um, something that would be reflective in my own personal community, despite the fact that I'm, I was a part of that community. Um, so what, how it kind of like reflects in my community yeah. is the fact that I can push for emotion. Okay. I can, I can um, push for something. I just need people to rally around me. Usually when you push for something at the Grammy, it takes a while. Okay. You know, but at least you have an opportunity to say, you know what, the, um, we outside the, the, the Grammy community, that's the international community, that's the global music scene, we only have one category. Can we push for more yeah. categories? More categories. Yeah, it yeah, takes time, that. but yeah. at least it's on, it's on, on the record. Yeah. So does, uh, can anybody just, what does someone have to do to get to that level to become a member of that board? Yeah. You have to become a Grammy uh, member first. You have to become a Grammy oh. member? Yeah, when you become a Grammy member, you become a voting member. Okay. So when, um, what happens is, when um, nominations come out, you have an opportunity to vote. So voting is not open to the general public, it's only open to members. So members actually decide the fate of winners. Mm. How, do you, how do you become, you become a, a member? A member. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> because yeah. thing. Okay, um, to become a member, first of all, you have to go to our website and read about how to become a member. Okay. But I'll just like give you like okay. an idea. Yeah. So um, you need like, you need two members, okay. two voting members, already registered voting yeah. members to recommend you. Oh, oh, wow. That's so that we need very two very strong recommendations. Okay. So that means it's actually possible for our artists who have had international nominations to actually be part of I think when you when you win, 
it, it comes automatic. Automatic. I think so, yeah. I believe, you know, enough of Grammy. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about you. I mean, yep. this is 2021. Yes. Mm. What are you working on? What's in the, what's cooking? Oh, I just dropped an EP yesterday. It's Fabulous. called Bittersweet. Mm. Bittersweet. Yes. Bittersweet. Who inspired that? Mm. <laughs> that Stop name. Bittersweet. Bitter, what inspired actually, that? Actually, Bittersweet is... Um, Bitter sweet, like it's very literal. Bitter um, sweet. It's bitter and it's sweet and it's bitter sweet. You know, like yeah. when you take bitter leaf, mm. it's, it's bitter. Then at I the, don't get at the back of your, it too happens cool. to almost <laughs> everyone. At the back of your tongue, you mm. feel like some sweetness. Mm. I feel so. You know that you, the so there are some things. Okay. Mm, there are some things that start in your life interesting, mm. and at the end of the day, it's kind of like. Is it almost everything like that? Yeah. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'll just talk <laughs> about my own next yeah, yeah, exactly. EP. At what point in the EP did you come up with the title mm. Bittersweet? Mm, I think um, that must have been maybe 2019. 2019. That's so when I experience. decided that um, um, every all the songs I was I was recording and mm. writing, it just felt like some were happy, some were sad, mm. and some were like in between. Yeah. Okay. You know. So I just like you know what I, I need to give this in a general title. That yeah. everyone can resonate with, and that's yeah, how the, the title came up. Sweet yes, bittersweet. Yeah. yeah. What has uh, what has been a mother? What has it done to your music? Has there been any change? I mean, from maybe the the things you sing about and everything, has it had any effect on your music? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Um. Not maybe not the things I sing about, okay. about, but the way I view things, like my my perspective right now, is very very different. I've learned how to manage my time. Okay. Mm. Yes, and I've learned that you can actually be around and not sleep so much and you still be fine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, not but, sleep um, so much. But in terms of my music, yeah. I think that um, recording became harder. Why? Okay. Because I, like the time thing, I had to manage my time. There are times that I book a studio session and I'm unable to go because I have to, I don't have it to keep my baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bless you, Sorry. bless you. Our <laughs> chef, our <laughs> chef. Chef. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Don't worry about that. Apologies. Oh, so sorry about that. You we, we, ah, you eat, you, we, we will give you take away the thing back home. Excuse Apologies. me, I'm yeah. so sorry. It's mm. fine. Mm -mm. Yeah, so you, you were saying about studio sessions on where to keep your baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it Apologies. takes... So, what we're doing is we just feel a little bit of our music, music while, we're, yes. while we're getting, while we're getting. Yeah, we'll get you. Well, Chef Natido, <laughs> we're coming for you. Eh? Let's feel a little yeah. bit of our Ramide's music. We're still here, uh, Ramide, of course. Uh, yes. We're talking about the EP. You, you, you have five um, songs and you, had, you said you featured two artists. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what made you choose those particular two? Was there any particular reason why? Um, it was just their vibe, basically. Oh, okay, their yeah, vibe, I, yeah. I like their vibe. Um, for Boy Breed, I met them in the studio and... Um, they were, uh, they were just around. Okay. And then the, the, guy, the producer I was working with was like, ah, let me call my guys in now, let them come and vibe and all that. Okay. Because the person is my very good friend. And I, at that time, I was trying to get back to recording. I was trying to get myself back. So he needed people to come and ginger me. Okay. Okay. So they, they popped up. And when I went back home, finished up the writing and all, I was like, ah, these guys actually sound amazing. Wow. So I called and I was like, we, we hope they don't mind jumping on the song, like for real, for real. Mm. I was like, okay. And then <clears throat> we got talking from there, and that was it. Like that. Yes. I want to talk about um, you, 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 you mentioned about your studio sessions and your child. Yeah. Now, how has it been managing being a mom, a wife, and music? It's been a lot, actually. Um, <clears throat> actually, um, when I was recording my EP and recording music, there are times I book a studio session, I have to cancel because I don't have yet to keep my baby. Or I have to cancel because maybe I'm not even feeling myself. Yeah. Okay. That so day. when you talk, sorry to cut you. When you say where to keep your baby, the studios don't allow you come in with your child. The child will not stay. The child will not stay. <laughs> <laughs> true. The old noise and all of that. The noise. Is some most times people like to record when it's dark. Mm. I know that the first time I tried it, she really cried. She would feel like every time I tried to put like a foot into the studio, she would cry. When I step out, she would stop crying. So I just stopped. So I always made sure that every time I had to record was like there was somebody available to help me and all of that. So, but, but the thing again is, it, I think it helped me like work, um, it helped me find the balance. Evolve and all of that. Yes. Moving forward, looking forward now, what should we expect? Five years, 10 years, Aramide, you're back to full recording and all of that. What should we expect? 
Nothing short of um, legendary music. I like Amazing. that. Legendary music. Amazing. Well, there's been some legendary food in the kitchen. <laughs> Natino hardly ever uses spice for his <laughs> yes, food. But today, today, he now decided that I want to show myself. Show us. And that's why he was just giving us all the spice and all that. But Arabide, um, Topo, yeah. you want to take her to the yes, kitchen and all that? Yes, breakfast for you. <laughs> bless you, bless you, bless you. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Martino, come and tell us what you have. And yes. you are welcome to the kitchen, Arabide. Good to see you here. Thank all right. You. So, hey, you've experienced Chef Natito's kitchen all the way from, uh, <laughs> yes. cooking all the way from the couch. Yeah. But now yeah, you get to experience it, for real. But hey, uh, let me let the two of you, since you guys have been working hard at yes, it, do all I the talking and everything. I took my time to prepare this meal for yeah. you. He just assisted me with it. He, the only thing he did was what exactly did you do? Who, me? Well, um, mm -hmm. so yes, last night uh -huh. we mm -hmm. marinated the chicken, the chicken yeah, breast right. with pepper soup spice and salt <laughs> and chicken seasoning. Okay. And um, mm -hmm. we boiled it, just very little water in a... In a in the what? <laughs> she actually cooked it. <laughs> in a non-stick pot. In a non-stick okay. pot, yes. Okay. And um, this morning, I, just tell me how you did the potatoes. That's the only one you did. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> Chef did everything. He just taught me hmm. the entire process. So run us through the crunchiness of the sweet potato. Okay, start from here. Yes. It looks crunchy though. Yes. Mm. And they just take <laughs> off the <laughs> chicken. Don't worry, it's the same top. process. Yes. Good. <laughs> Let's know how you like my chicken. No. <laughs> you're even hiring me. Are you sure? <laughs> you're hiring me. <laughs> uh. And then you have to put the potato to, you know, take it down. Which one? What do you want me to do? The, two the chicken or the potato? And the chicken and the potato. Well, they're okay. all going to meet in her mouth, won't they? Uh -uh. Okay. Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Next thing you know, you, you tell her how to do her own music now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're both good. Good. Let's That's give a rating, fine. one to ten. I don't know how to read food. Ah. <laughs> but they are good but enough good. to be consumed. Exactly. Very good. Fabulous. Yes. Thank, good. You. Thank you. Thank very you very much. Here you go. Thank you very much for almost killing everybody on set. <laughs> I don't think you Not one see. person survived from the camera crew, producers, presenters. You made your mark. Yes. <laughs> you are the mark of The next time he's coming in, please, security, can you check his bag for pepper? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming around Thank today. You Thank you so much, much Chef Natido and um, Nathaniel from Natido Cuisine. Thanks to everyone who's been a part of our Thank you, Mike. Thursday. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, Uncle mm. Mike. Narf. You see, words of wisdom yes. now. <laughs> About parenting. You see, when Pepe <laughs> wife will laugh. I was just about to give you. When Pepe is somewhere, it's either you are chasing the pepper is chasing somebody, somebody is chasing the pepper. Wow. Nice. Okay. Thank you for that wisdom. Crazy, I, nice. I, I, I hope you jotted down. Yeah, we, we really took it <laughs> good, down. Good, good. I hope you jotted down. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to be back here tomorrow, same time, 7 a.m. to 8.45. Your view is next. We love you guys. Bye.